Hey, what's up everybody? It's PJ the Great, your tech fanboy, and I got another unboxing for you. Today, I went shopping at Walmart, and I picked this up. A Walmart Gorilla Pod. And this is made by a company named On. That's O-N-N. They're famous for their products. You can find them all over Walmart. And this is a flexible tripod for cameras, camcorders, and more. It says maximum height is 7.4 inches. Minimum height, 3.5 inches. Heavy duty, uneven surfaces. GoPro Hero mount that it comes with right here. It says that it's heavy duty, bendable leg joints to use on uneven surfaces. Quick release mounting plate fits securely on both the tripod and the camera. Compatible with GoPro Hero 2, 3, 3 Plus and 4 cameras. It includes a GoPro Hero mount attachment. That thing. 1.1 pound low capacity. Uh, 1.1 pounds, don't DSLRs weigh more than that. And that's the reason why I bought this, not just for my, uh, my new DSLR, but I want to be able to use it on this camera and other video cameras that I take on the go. Anyway, let's pop this open and see what it looks like. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and slice the top here. Gotta make it too easy to get in. Gotta get my GoPro mount out of here. Sorry. So that's where you can mount your GoPro on there. Okay, so here is the on version of the Gorilla Pie. It feels kind of sturdy here. I think it's gonna work. They say it's pretty simple process in getting your, oops, yeah, you just take this out, wrap your camera around it, twist this in, and then it's ready to go. Seems pretty bendable. Let's see how it works as a vlogger. You know, you take your Gorilla Pods and you bend it like that and you put your camera on there and you can get your vlog status on. This seems pretty sturdy, but it has like a little grip here. I think you can tighten that up so that this doesn't move around as much. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy there, and then you unloosen this here, and then it gets a little bit looser. Okay, now it says it withstands the weight of 1.1 pounds. I'm pretty sure my DSLR weighs more than that. So if you guys are primarily vloggers with the DSLR, I am about to show you a test and see if this thing can withstand that kind of weight. So here's my DSLR. I got my Nikon D3300 and we're gonna see if this can support the weight of this. This doesn't feel that heavy now that I think about it, but I'm pretty sure it's heavier than a pound. So let's see if this thing is true to what it says that it can only handle a pound or or if it can handle more than that. So that should just pop out like that. Take my little camera here. Put that in there, secure it. Then you put that back in here like so. Just undo that back here and twist to secure it in place. Okay, there we go. So it seems to be pretty secure. You can already see <laughs> the weight is 
pulling on this thing. This thing is like totally plastic, by the way. I never had a real grill apart, so I don't know what those are made out of. I'm guessing it's a little bit sturdier because those things are expensive, so I'll tighten that up. So I still get the, it's going pretty decent now. Let's see if it can withstand the weight of this camera. It seems to be holding up. Look at that. It's holding up. The main test for you vloggers out there to see if this can work as a vlogger. Yep, it seems to be staying in place. Pretty good. Not bad for $19.99 at Walmart, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It does move around. I guess it just tightens a little bit more. I guess if you're like pretty steady with it, I think it'll hold up. Sudden movements, sudden movements, sudden movements, sudden movements. So it's spinning around. But yeah, I think it. I think this will do the trick. I think this will do the trick. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What I have to say about this, what's my overall take? I would say that it seems to be pretty sturdy. It's got lockers on here, so I don't have to worry about it separating. This is what I was using. This is like another knockoff Gorilla Pod. But um, the reason why I wanted something different, like these are all locked in, is because I was having issues with this. And I didn't want that happening, and it could happen in any random place, see? I didn't want that happening with this new semi-expensive camera on the end of it, just going like this, and all of a sudden it just pops off. Do I recommend it? It's $20, just know that you're getting what you pay for. I think if you're pretty firm with it and you're not shaking around too much, it shouldn't wobble and like lose its grip. So I would say go ahead and give it a try. See, I think it's fine even if you do a little like this. It seems to be holding its own. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I swear to you, this exact same one was branded Vivitar. When I saw that Walmart, they sold out. And then when it came back, it came back with the arm branding on it. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and see if you want to pick up one yourself. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comment section. And I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. In the meantime, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hey! Don't forget to push that subscribe button. Push the button. And until the next tech review, this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G. My hand still kind of hurts from bowling a couple of nights ago. Deuces.